Okay, we're going to add the garage side on. So think about the fact that this line now is going to be farther away than the wall that's going to come out through your side of your garage. And think of this garage as a second building that now we've got a left side again and a right side again. So on our first structure, the left side of the building, the vanishing point to build the wall went to the left side of the page. And our right side of our building went to the right side of our page. Okay? So now this part here will be considered a left side of the building. So we're going to use the vanishing point on our left side and we're going to go through the corner, the inside corner of the house, and draw a line out. So this can be as wide or narrow as you'd like, and you will close that in with a vertical line. So this wall is going to appear to be longer than this wall. But ultimately, they are the same size. One is closer to you than the other. So moving on. We'll create the right-hand side of our garage, so it will go to the right-hand side vanishing point. And, and again, you can make this as large or as small if you want. I know some of you guys had like almost no space from your from your initial uh, your initial house start. That this might be really small. So you should be able to see now, if you drew this right, two forms that are coming out at you. So question and answer time. If I want to put a peak now on this side of the garage, how do I find the, the center point of that wall? Big X, but where am I going to go from where to where? Corner to corner. Corner to corner, good. So we'll make an X, corner to corner. So our peak is going to be way on the outside this time. And we'll close our peak. Peek in. So what vanishing point are we going to use to draw on the roof on our garage side? Right or the left? The left. The left. Thank you. So, do we see anything kind of what looks a little off at this point? The roof. So we could do all kinds of balancing to try to get that roof to match up perfectly with the other roof. But that's the, 
the beautiful thing with having an eraser we can just extend that line again to where they intersect Depending on how you visually wanted this to look, then you could decide where you want your line connecting the roofs together. And at this point, you should have the two sides. 